You are watching Content with Candace. In today's video, you will see a try on of my entire vintage coach handbag collection. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. Okay, let's get into it. In today's video, you will see a try on of every single vintage coach bag I have in my collection. I know in 2024, with all the price increases and everything being so expensive, sometimes you may be looking for more affordable alternatives that are of excellent quality. And the vintage coach handbags are definitely affordable and they're of excellent quality. So if you like this style of handbags, please watch and you will see me try on all the videos. So hopefully they'll give you some ideas of what the bags may look like and just help you decide on which selection will be best for you. In fact, just tell me in the comment section below which one you like the best. Okay, let's get into it. The first handbag I would like you to see is one of the most favorite handbags in my collection. If I can't remember the name, someone, if you will, please type a comment in the comment box below and let all everybody out there and let everyone out there know what the name is of this bag. But as you guys know, I'm a crossbody girl, so I love wearing crossbodies. So this would be my preferred way to wear this bag, but I do have it on the last hole, but you can also wear it as a shoulder bag as well. You don't have to necessarily rock it as a cross. <laughs> you don't have to necessarily rock it as a crossbody, but you can also rock it as a shoulder bag. And this is in the green. I call it lime green. Not sure what the exact name of the color is, but I just want to try it on so you can see what it looks like on. And let me show you something else. While I'm showing you my lime green handbag. I'm going to also show you my lime green tote. So if I wanted to pair these two together, I could. I could use this as a work tote. And I could also carry my lime green vintage coach handbag. Let's go on to the next one. Before we move on to the next handbag, this one was in my little lime green bag that I just showed you. This is a Coach wristlet. I did dunk and clean this. I know I wasn't supposed to, but I like my things nice. And it was actually in brand new condition when I bought it pre-loved. I love this little wristlet. And the reason why I didn't show you this in my previous wristlet and zipper pouch video is because... It was in my little lime green bag. So I want to go ahead and show you this one. Such an adorable piece. Now we will move on to the next handbag. Try on. The next vintage coach handbag that I'm trying on is called the Shelburne, the Shelburne flap, I believe is what it's called. Just want you to see it on. For some reason, I've never used this bag. But I hope to get into it really soon because I need to make sure whether or not it's going to work for me. This is the bag as a crossbody and this is the bag as a shoulder bag. Let me make it a little, adjust the strap so you can see it as a shoulder bag. Let me show it to you as a short crossbody too. And now... At the shoulder bag. I can't remember the name of this handbag, but here it is as a crossbody. Now, I'm not sure if this outside pocket, if this is the front of the bag or if this is the back of the bag. Let me see where the hang tag is and maybe I can give you an idea, okay? So the hang tag is on this side, on the inside, and in on the slip pocket. So maybe the pocket is on the front of the bag. Let 
Here's the bag as a crossbody. And also, here's the bag as a shoulder bag. This is the Coach Metropolis handbag, the Vintage Coach Metropolis handbag. I received this one in light new condition, still dunked it and cleaned it. It wasn't dirty, but I just, I like my things to be very clean. I believe this is the front of the bag because the outside slip pocket is here and the hang tag is on the other side, on the inside pocket. So here's the bag as a crossbody. And here it is as a shoulder bag. I do have it on the last hole. So you can clearly see it does run long. For reference, I am five foot two. This is my Coach Rambler handbag. as a crossbody and I'll show it to you as a shoulder bag back up make sure I'm in frame because I'm filming on my cell phone I can't really see but this is the bag as shoulder bag Vintage Coach Rambler handbag. I decided to go ahead and show you the Vintage Coach Rambler in the color brown. As a crossbody and as a shoulder bag. Let me go ahead and show you this bag. And it's strictly designed as a shoulder bag, but what I like to do is hook a chain on here and wear it as a crossbody. It's actually more of a arm carry, in my opinion. Because as a shoulder, you can get it on your shoulder, but I have pretty big shoulders. And so you have to kind of have small shoulders to wear it real comfortably. I will go ahead and tell you, this is a very heavy bag, and this is one of my first bags I started buying when I really got into Coach. So, when you put stuff in it, it can get real heavy, so you have to be careful how you pack it. You don't want to pack, you don't want to stuff this bag, let me put it that way. Now, I think this bag is vintage. I believe this bag was created when Coach first started and doing the lighter, genuine leather. It's not that thick, full grain leather that I just showed you on the previous handbags. But I love it because it's light and I can stuff it and it's not heavy. And here it is, that's a shoulder bag. Here's another vintage coach handbag. I can't remember the name, but for some reason it's got a little wrinkle here. I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to look. I have dunked and cleaned this one, but for some reason I can't get that little wrinkle out. I'm gonna keep working on it, see what I can do. Any suggestions out there, please leave a comment in the comment box. And there's a shoulder bag. This is a vintage coach court handbag. This one does run long. Let me see if I can make the strap any shorter. Here it is as a crossbody. This is the shorty setting. And here it is as a shoulder bag.
Like I said, it does run long, but it don't bother me because I like my crossbody long. This is the Vintage Coach Sutton handbag. Here it is as a crossbody. Now, this is the bag that I was going to use for my upcoming dunking and cleaning video. I've already dunked it and cleaned it about two, three years ago, maybe three years now. And I want to re-dunk and re-clean it. I'm not sure how good that would be for the leather. If you know, please leave a comment down below. And let me show you why I want to dunk and re-clean it. But first of all, here it is as a crossbody. And then I want to show it to you as a shoulder bag. And then I'll show you it up close. I want you to look up close at the zipper. You see all that, the little green on the zipper? How do I get rid of that? If you know, put a comment down below. That's what I want to work on. But, you know, other, other than that, the back is very clean from the first dunking and cleaning. But the zipper is really bothering me. So I don't know if there's a possibility that I could clear that up. In previous videos, I have called this one the Vintage Coach Basic Handbag, but I think this bag is a wristlet. It's a Vintage Coach wristlet, but it does have a strap, if you know for sure, because it does look similar to the, the Vintage Coach Basic Handbag, but I think the Vintage Coach Basic Handbag don't have this wristlet strap. So let me know in the comments if you know what this is. But here it is as a crossbody. And as a shoulder bag. And this is on the very last hole, not the not the longest one setting, but the shortest setting. Here it is as a Crossbody, I believe this one is called the Legacy Studio Flap. This bag makes me happy when I wear it for some reason. The leather is so soft. I do have it on shorter settings. And here it is as a shoulder bag. This is the Patricia's Legacies handbag. I love this bag. I'll be 90 years old carrying this bag, even if I have to carry two items in it. Crossbody. I do have it on the second setting this time. There's four holes total. And let me just make it shorter so you can see it as a shoulder bag a little bit better. And there's also a third way to make this bag a shoulder bag. So if you're interested in that, you need to check out my video on that. I love this bag. Here it is as a shoulder bag. Let's see what it looks like as a short crossbody. Short crossbody bag. Either way I put it, it's still comfortable. Coach Willis handbag as a crossbody. It is on the last setting, the shortest setting. And as a shoulder bag. Back in the day when these vintage bags were created, Coach didn't mind using extra materials. I don't think this bag is vintage yet, but if someone knows for sure, you can tell me. This bag was designed to be a shoulder bag, but of course, I've learned that I can add a chain to these and wear it as a crossbody, but since it was designed to be a shoulder bag, I find I don't wear it as often. 
because it was designed to be a shoulder bag, but this was, I want to say this was my first coach handbag that I purchased when I really started getting into coach. Before that, I had a Dooney and Burt bag that my dad bought for me, and I carried it for almost like 10 years or more. I carried and carried and carried it. I wasn't really into handbags at that time, but I was thankful to get that one, and I just carried it. And then my husband bought me the wallet. We were young and didn't have a whole lot of resources at that time. And uh, I was thankful to get the wallet. And I wore them out. And I still have them, but you can tell they were used. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. You can also just share it. You never know who may see it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you for even taking the time to listen to little old me. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.